Hello again. Welcome. To, it's uh, July 3rd, 2022. Happy 4th of July for all of you Americans. I know it's tomorrow, but you won't see me tomorrow, so there you go. Well, you might look... When you view this, it might be Monday, July 4th, but today is Sunday, July 3rd, 2022. And today... This is episode 64 of Dinner from the Dining Car, and today we're making the Chesapeake and Ohio's uh, bread pudding with rum sauce. Now, this was a request from a subscriber, and from my he, the subscriber wanted to know if I had a bread pudding recipe, and uh, yes, I did. And my wife said, "Ooh." Let's make that. I haven't had a good bread pudding in a long time. So we're going to make bread pudding. Here's what you're going to need for the bread pudding and for the sauce. First, the bread pudding. You're going to need white bread. You're going to take uh, 8 to 12 slices of just your old run-of-the-mill white bread, and you're going to cut the crusts off butter it and divide it into quart into uh, quarters triangularly. I'll show you that in the video. You're going to need a cup of sugar. You're going to need a quart oops, sorry, a quart of milk. You're going to need a full cup of raisins. Now these uh, are little midget black raisins, but still, they're raisins. You're going to need six eggs, which I happen to have here, and then you're going to need, uh, excuse me, I want to make sure I'm doing this right, you're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla. You need the real deal here, folks, not the imitation. Get the real deal. I happen to be able to find a really good a Mexican vanilla brand blend, which is fantastic stuff. Now, for the rum sauce, you're going to need pull it over here. A cup of brown sugar. You're going to need a full stick of our old friend butter. Oh, sorry. Butter. I'm just full of all thumbs today. You're going to need eight ounces, a half a cup, or yeah, you're going to need eight ounces of whipping cream. You're also going to need <laughs> rum. I don't even drink, but I keep Bacardi around because I cook with it. And you're also going to need about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And this will all go into the making the rum sauce that will top the bread pudding once it's baked. You're going to need two baking pans. One smaller one and one larger one. You're going to put water in the larger one and bake it at at three that 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 three seventy five. But you're going to you're going to make the bread pudding in the smaller pan, put it inside the larger pan that has got water in it, because this is going to bake similarly to how you would make a custard. And then while it's baking, we'll go ahead and when it's ready to come out. We'll go ahead and make the uh, rum sauce so you can see it. Because this puppy has to bake. Excuse me. Excuse me, Booze. You're in the shot. Uh, 35, about 35 minutes at 375. So that's all you're going to need for this recipe. And we'll be back a little bit later when we start the cooking. Okay, folks, here we are. We're about to get started with the... Geez, I'm afraid I'm We're about to get started 
with the bread pudding. Now, according to this recipe, you're going to take half a cup. You're going to take your bread pan, your baking pan. Now, this is a 8 by 11. You're going to butter this thing up really well. You're going to take half a cup of raisins. And you're going to scatter them on the bottom of this hair pan. A little more is in the case. Okay. Here we have 10 slices of bread, buttered. I put my knife over that was stupid. You're going to lay these things down. That's the oven being going off. Buttered side down. Now, it may not use all 10 slices. It may use less. It looks like it's going to use less. Looks like it's going to use more than six slices. And then you're going to put the other half a cup, spread it on top of those, Put the rest of the slices on top of that. Looks like I need another two slices of bread. Well, good, you'll get to see me make. Uh, you'll get to see me butter the bread, and cut the crusts off. Yes, your white bread, you cut the crusts off. You don't want the crusts in here. Uh. If you can avoid it. It's simple to cut the crusts off. You can do it with a butter knife, if you'll notice. Now, take one aside. Open your margarine. Make sure your margarine is relatively soft because you don't want it to rip the bread. If you have to leave your margarine out for a little while to make sure it's soft enough, by gosh, you want to do that. Oh, that's a little too much margarine right there. Assembled the basic base for your bread pudding. There. Meanwhile, on the stove, I have a quart of milk boiling. set this stuff aside for a minute. Let me show you what this looks like here up close. Okay. Now, you need to get your six eggs and your cup of sugar into a bowl. Good rations. closer and down so you can see me do this. 
crack six eggs into this. grab a whisk and you're going to beat this up or you can use a hand mixer I didn't bother to get out my hand mixer beat this up until it's smooth and creamy doesn't take long you just want to make sure the eggs are well beaten into the sugar. Well beaten into the sugar. Just like that. Now, then you're going to get your milk, which is about to boil over. Skim off the foam, which you're going to have, and get rid of the foam. Okay, take care of that. Then you're going to take this over to your egg and sugar mixture, pour it in. And you're going to whip it around some more. Again, you want to incorporate that sugar and those eggs into this milk mixture. Now what you want to do is grab yourself a ladle. You want to use a ladle because you do not, repeat, do not, want to disturb the positioning of the bread. Let me move this so you can get a good look at me doing this. And you're just going to ladle this mixture all over the place. pretty much fill this container up. You notice by using the ladle, instead of a direct pour, you don't screw up the positioning of the bread. It takes a little longer doing it this way until you basically either use all of your mix of your egg and sugar and milk mix or it pretty much gets soaked. Now you see it's starting to float to the top. <laughs> okay. That's about all of that we're going to get out of there. Alright. Now that you have that... Oh, shoot. I forgot to add something. I forgot to add something. You need to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Should have added it to the egg mix and whisked it around. Now we move it to the stove. Now if you will notice on the stove there is a pan 
with water in it. A bigger pan than what you have here. You're going to take this and put it in the water. It's going, the water is going to rise a bit, don't worry about it. And it's going to cook this similar to the way you would make a custard. Then it goes, I need to move the camera back, into a 375 degree oven. Being very careful not to drop it because with the pan full of water and the other pan full of the bread stuff, it gets a little heavy. Okay, then set your timer for 35 minutes. Okay, that's the bread putting in the oven. If you guys will give me a chance to rinse out this, wash out this saucepan, then we'll start the, uh, excuse me, rum sauce. We'll be back in a bit. All right, we're back. Here is a stick of butter going into a pan, into the saucepan. That's going to melt. And we need to get a cup of brown sugar. Zip pack, tear to open. Oh my god, a tear to open pack that actually tears to open. Okay. Because, again, the packaging is difficult to wheel to a full cup, cup in, we're using two half cups. And make sure you pack this pretty well. Make sure you don't get any more lumps. Just try to get as few lumps in your sugar as possible. Like that one. Get that one out of there. Now you're going to going to stir this until that butter melts and that brown sugar is nice and smooth. Again over medium heat because you don't want to burn it. Get rid of the lumps. This way you get rid of your lumps and your sugar if you have any. And boy this looks like I got a few. A couple of big ones. We don't want lumps in the sauce. Especially lumps of sugar. Let me see if I can get a better camera angle here. Get right down into that pot. Get right down into that pot. Tripod's actually in the way. There you go. Alright, once you have that butter oops, and that brown sugar nice and smooth, now comes the fun part. You need to take your whipping cream. Now this little container right here is about a cup. So in it goes. Make sure, by the way, when you buy whipped cream that it is not, that it is, ah, oh, fuck, did that thing shut off? No, it didn't. Okay, you want to make sure that your whipping cream isn't expired, because that would be disgusting. And you're going to toss this around, just kind of stir it in. It's going to make a nice creamy sauce. There you go. If you could see it, you'll notice it's getting all mixed in. Okay. Nice whipping 
crank. And you're going to take two tablespoons, three tablespoons, excuse me, of rum and add that in here. Here's whoa, one, two, three. Now, doing some research on this, I'm told that dark rum or even Captain Morgan's spiced rum is a really good go. I just happen to have a bottle of Bacardi Gold, so that's what we're using. And if you're going to use rum, don't cheap out on your rum. Just do not cheap out on your rum at all. Because that's like really nasty. Don't you... That's a hint for you cooks out there. When you're cooking with alcohol, do not use alcohol you would not drink. Okay. And about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. starting to look like a very nice dark rum sauce. Okay, I have a better idea of the spoon. Oh, that, there it is. Good old friend whisk. Now this is an incredibly good non-stick pan, so I'm not worried about scratching the bottom with a metal whisk. I've used a metal whisk in this pan lots of times. And basically you're just going to cook this a little. Uh, about five minutes. It'll reduce a tad. And then you're going to just shut it off and cover it. Oh, it's starting to thicken up nicely. starts to boil, kind of turn your heat down a little, because you don't want it boiling too much. You want it simmering. Oh yeah, that's thickening up. Grab a spoon and get a taste of that. Oh my goodness, that's good. Turn it down, just turn it down to low. And we'll cover it. And that's all it is there is for now. We've got about 24, 25 minutes until the bread pudding comes out of the oven. So we'll see y'all then. Okay, everybody, it's out of the oven. Oh my God, it looks insanely delicious. Now we're just gonna put a little sample in the bowl and we're gonna see if it's any good. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, this looks amazing. And the rum sauce. This looks amazing, guys. Look at that. Well, that's it for this video. Oh, I gotta, I gotta scoop this up right now. I gotta have a spoon of this right now. 
Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, wow, that's insanely delicious. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is the Chesapeake in Ohio bread pudding with rum sauce. If you have any questions, comments, or you want a copy of this recipe, and oh my god, it's insane. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, email me at dinner from the dining car at yahoo.com. Uh, please, if you can, punch that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. That's it for this video. You folks have yourself a wonderful evening. And, ha and if you're in, in America, have yourself a fantastic 4th of July. We'll see you when we see you.